A new book is always exciting to its author, of course, uh, especially when it's a kind of continuation or the next step on a lifetime almost of work. And this one about Emergence Christianity uh, is a great joy and delight to me. Um, obviously, one can do, and I have, uh, analysis of the times in which we are, uh, of the history of the times, how we got to this point. But it's good to be able to stop now and to actually look at Emergence Christianity as what it is, a new tributary in the river of Christianity, a new, the new expression of what the faith is, a new part, a new player in the kingdom of God. And one of the things that delights me about this book, not only did I get to, uh, to do vignettes or narratives or stories, and much of this is story, about the people who uh, are active in emergence, who have been in its history, who have made it what it is now, and who are making it what it is about to become. Uh, not only this, that, but um, also Baker very kindly uh, let me do a 32-page color photo uh, essay. Uh, on what it is so that uh, folk can actually see it. We just get sort of tired about hearing about emergence and we want to say, sit, let me see it. I, I want to look at this thing. Um, so that's there, as are the stories. And basically, uh, I suspect that if uh, a critic were reading this book right now, he or she would say, this is just a biography of the early years of emergence Christianity. Or I hope that's what he or she would say because that's what the intention was. My intention was that we need to understand that Indeed, whether we are part of a traditional church or whether we are emergence Christians, uh, we are all players in the kingdom of God. And this thing that is a new tributary in the river, that is a new player, that is a new part of Latinized Christianity, uh, is to be welcomed and embraced and assisted uh, in every way. Yes, it's different, but if we look at the differences, they become less dangerous, they become less frightening. Um, and uh, yes, it needs the help of established church, and may it be granted. Um, so I hope that those who read will read with interest, with pleasure, uh, with some delight, actually, uh, but also with some prayerful uh, intention toward using the material um, to understand regardless of the camp in which you find yourself, to understand and to welcome those who are in other camps in order that we may move forward to a greater cause.